Received a listener email that says, I've been listening to your podcast concerning the world being forgiven of all their trespasses. I'm just now learning that no one in this dispensation is going to hell for their sins. Praise Him. What Jesus did was truly a miracle. This is a wonderful truth that everyone needs to know. As I understand it, you're saying that even though God is not imputing sins to the world, that does not mean they are saved. It simply means they are forgiven. It's only those that hear the gospel and accept the free gift who are saved, correct? Since learning this, I have set a course to talk to as many people as possible about this terrific news. My question, then, is is what about those who who do not get saved and are still here during Israel's time of tribulation? Will their sins still not be imputed, or will God re-impute them at that time? If their sins are not being imputed, what happens when they appear at the white throne judgment? Won't they be judged for them there? Thanks, and I'm so glad I found you. Okay, that's a great question. And you're correct. Under the current administration of grace, God is not numbering, not tallying the world's sins. It would be incorrect to suggest that he would charge their sins to Christ there at Calvary and then recharge them back to the world before judgment. Our sins were judged once. Jesus was prosecuted and declared guilty. God, 2 Corinthians 5.21, made him to be sin for us. For God to recharge the world, he would have to reverse that decision by unmaking Christ to be sin for us. And nowhere in Scripture do we find evidence to corroborate that. Today, sin is not an issue. And what I mean by that is sin is not an issue as it pertains to someone being saved, as it pertains to salvation. Yes, of course, everyone has sin issues. And as believers, we should flee from all appearance of evil and strive daily to walk worthy of our calling. Sin's not to be taken lightly, but make no mistake, as per salvation, it's not the issue. There is no sin that God overlooked when he poured out his wrath onto Christ. Today, the good news for the world is there is no sin that stands between them and God. In respect of of there being enmity between God and Mankind, the sin issue was settled, and God was satisfied. There's no record of debt because the debt was paid. God doesn't have someone working in accounts receivable (laughs) because there is nothing owed. There's no balance sheets because there's nothing to balance. The cross work can never be replicated, and on that note, we can be assured that the world's sins will never be calculated and recharged. The world's account was cleared by the blood-stained cross of Christ. You know, people will sing about the old account was settled long ago, but they don't believe it. It's sort of like, like singing, what can wash away my sins, nothing but the blood of Jesus. They sing it, but don't believe it. Some change it to, what can wash away my sins, nothing but asking God to forgive me. Others changed it to, What can wash away my sins? Nothing but my belief. That's the latest we're hearing of. That coming from the limited atonement gracer camp. I sing it like this. What can wash away my sins? Nothing. Nothing can wash away my sins. It already has. About 2,000 years ago. The blood, not my belief. If you're on the fence about this, you're just going to have to ask yourself how many are going to be in heaven who trusted in their belief for their forgiveness. Just how many? You see, the problem is in the dome, in the mind. We must change the way we think. Stop seeing the work of Christ as being as being something yet to be achieved. You either believe it's finished or you don't. There's not an in-between. It's black or white with no gray. Now, even though the world's sins will never be recharged, that in itself does not mean the world is saved. I've said it before, but it bears repeating. No one goes to heaven with an empty account. You you pull up to heaven's window. You ask the teller to check your sin account. She comes back and says, it's empty. You get all excited and say, so let me in. She says, oh, you cannot enter without the righteousness of Christ showing in your account. 
You need his life. How do I get that? She says, by believing that he was made to be sin for you. He died for your sins, was buried, and has risen. If you'll believe that that alone was sufficient, without adding anything, I'll apply his righteous life to your account. Okay, so here in the uh, listener email, they ask, If the sins are not being imputed when they appear at the white throne judgment, what will they be judged for? The ones they commit. You see, God won't have to re-impute sins from this dispensation. No, they'll have plenty of time to commit some more during the trip. And it's those sins they'll need to 1 John 1, 9 to get forgiven. Not the sins that were put on Christ in this, the but now time period. No, no, that wouldn't make any sense. Having sins taken from the world and, and put on Christ and then taken off Christ to be put back on the world, well, that defies logic. For those of us in the here and now dispensation of grace, under this administration, there's nothing we can do to be forgiven. Forgiveness is accomplished. It's not being offered. Salvation is. Second Timothy 2.15 Study and rightly divide the word of truth. Makes all the difference.